Hello and welcome to this week's tutorial. I'll be painting the first of the evolution miniatures for the post-apocalyptic diorama. So the leather coat was painted first and given a quite a thick coat of Vallejo black brown. Then burnt umber, very diluted Vallejo burnt umber was applied just to break up the base coat a little bit. So you can see I'm concentrating towards the edges a bit more, just at higher areas of wear and tear, such as the sleeves and around the bottom of the coat. And this is stippled on in a quite a random fashion. Next up, some mahogany highlights ready. Again, this is quite diluted. This was concentrated far more towards areas of wear and tear around the shoulders. Again, the front of the coat, areas that would really get worn away. So the final stage was adding some Vallejo beige red, and again, very diluted. And this really was right on the edges of the creases in the coat, right around the bottom there. You can see I'm giving particular attention. It was almost the sort of final stage in the highlighting. As you can see here, it got a really nice worn effect with lots of different shades. It looked maybe a little stark, because obviously there's, there's some, some pretty extreme... Uh, color variations going on here but I was overall very pleased with the effect but it was the final stage of adding an overall wash of Vallejo smoke quite diluted just to not totally overwhelm the base colors that really brought the disparate colors together this acted as a filter and I was really pleased with the overall effect um, I'd never even thought of doing this um, and credit goes to the last cavalry video that I watched that I'll put in the comments when this was dry, I went back, just added some final highlights with the lighter tones, the beige red and so on and so forth, just on the areas of highest wear that maybe got a bit lost when the smoke wash had been applied. Next up, the hood or the gas cape was given a coat of Life Colour vulcanised rubber. This is from the Life Colour Shades of Black set, which is a great set. I used several of the colours on this build. And this is diluted, so it just went into all the uh, recessed details. Once dry, a very diluted coat of Vallejo black, almost a wash was applied over the top just to again, really accent the recessed details that are in this figure. The level of detail on this figure overall was excellent. So next up, the trousers were painted green using life color dark green. Again, because the model had been pre-shaded, it was really quite a diluted coat. And that's something I did across this model. The, the base shades are really quite diluted so the pre-shade would really show through so you can see i'm just adding some highlights just around the bottom of the trouser cuffs so on and so forth just some subtle accents just to bring out the base coat then a wash of vallejo burnt umber very diluted was just added around the bottom of the trousers the final weathering of the model will take place when the whole diorama is finished the canvas bag was then given a coat of life colour dark earth, again very diluted so the pre-shade showed through and various highlights were added and washes again using the Vallejo burnt umber that I'd never tried before were added over the course of the build just to really make this item stand out because it's a focal part of the model. The boots were given a coat of life colour dirty black again from the shades of black set, various highlights were added over the build process. The rucksack itself was given a coat of life colour interior green, once again, <laughs> a very thin coat of paint to let the pre-shade show through, and uh, various washes including burnt umber were used to really to dirty up this item. Next up the uh, rifle was painted with uh, life colour burnt black, again he used nearly every shade from the life colour shades of black so it worked really well. I decided to uh, paint the eye ports on the gas mask a flesh tone, so I used Vallejo beige red to simulate the face behind the mask. This is quite fiddly, and to simulate the eyes I used some of the Archer pupil decals. Again, very fiddly process, I lost quite a few of them. These were put in place and once dry, a very light coat of Tamiya smoke was applied to simulate the glass in the gas mask. A few final uh, steps, basically the rifle was given a good going over with uh, a 6B pencil just to give it a really nice metallic tone. 
getting to the end of the painting process, I had some highlights on the laces using uh, Citadel Ushabti bone. So that's my Optivisor because my poor old eyes aren't what they used to be. Then I added a strap to the rifle from some scalpel blade foil cut to shape. Just add another little detail. Once this was glued in place, it was later painted with darker just to blend it in. And with that, the model was pretty much done. So here we see the first finished figure of the diorama. It's great fun to do. And I have to give credit to um, Last Cavalry TV, the YouTube channel. I'll leave the link for the leather paint tutorial. It worked really well. So next week, I hope to have some of the figures done, more of the figures done. As you can see, I've mocked up some of the base. So uh, hope to see you next week and uh, take care.